The NFL season is wrapping up, and there's still time to get in on the action with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Right now, new customers get 150 in bonus bets, guaranteed when you place a $5 bet. FanDuel, official partner of the NFL. Hey, Bobby Manning here. Welcome to a news edition of the Garn Report, the heat kickoff trade deadline season with a significant deal here for Terry Roger, the former Celtic who spent the last couple of years with the Hornets, signed an extension there through 2026. So Miami uh, gets a 29-year-old guard in his career season, scoring about 24 points a game for what was a pretty dreadful team at the start this year, 10-31 and 31 through the first half of this season. Uh, so they're moving into sell mode. We'll get to them in just a second. But obviously, a uh, big move ahead of Thursday's meeting between the Celtics and the Heat. Uh, Miami will play Memphis on the front end of a back-to-back on Wednesday, potentially Roger's debut. Uh, but just digging into the deal, it's Kyle Lowry. It's a 2027 first-round pick that's lottery-protected, according to Woj. So Heat tie up a couple more of their picks with that. There's a 2026 pick with the Thunder to sort out as well. I suspect that they're just going to convey that. Um, But that's a little difficult with back-to-back picks not being allowed uh, to convey there. So they're going to have to sort that out. Either way, only takeaway there is that the Heat, as far as sending out future picks, are a little bit more tied up uh, now with this deal. They already were, uh, which was part of the reason that they had difficulty adding Damian Lillard. Uh, But if you look at this as consolation for them not landing Lillard, them keeping Jaime Jaquez, who is a Rookie of the Year candidate, uh, them keeping uh, their young players that they could potentially move down the line, and them keeping that salary spot there while only giving up Kyle Lowry, it's all good here. They save a little bit money under the uh, second apron this year, too, so... That gives them a little bit more wiggle room in terms of what they can do next summer while contending this year. And Roger definitely boosts their immediate chances at contending in the East this year. 23 points a game, four rebounds, 6.6 assists per game, obviously significant ball time at his disposal this year with the Hornets, given Lamelo Ball's injuries and some other inconsistent availabilities there. But you look at a game like uh, the other night against Philly, 19-9-6 and six in that game. And that's on a night where uh, LaMelo is out. But even playing alongside a guy like Jimmy Butler, he's willing to cede that ball time uh, to Roger. Now, the catch and shoot numbers aren't very good here uh, for Terry. I think under 30% from three on catch and shoots. But he's 35 for the season, around 36 for his career. So he is a capable shooter, especially off the bounce, where he's 45% this year which is a big, big number. And that's the role Lowry was playing on this team effectively. Can you fit into some of their defensive looks? Roger hasn't been great on that end this year, but he's better than Lowry at this point, I believe. He gets about a steal a game, holds opponents to 46 47% when they're lined up against him. So this feels like a good fit for Miami. Now, can he guard Tatum and Brown on switches if it comes to that? The Heat are still going to have to scheme some stuff up here uh, to be able to defend a team like Boston, a team like Milwaukee, if it comes to that. Uh, but we know that Eric Spoelstra is capable of doing that. So I like this move because, as you see with the Knicks, OG and Anobi, as you see with uh, some other teams like Siakam and Indiana, these aren't blockbuster moves that guarantee you're going to be in the finals this year, or even anytime soon. But they get you a little bit closer. They make you a better team. They don't break the bank in terms of assets going out. Uh, but it's a good player coming back. And it might not be a franchise-altering move here for the Heat. They've been searching for that, and I'm sure they'll continue to into the summer. Uh, But this is a good move that inches them closer to being part of that top three in the East, Milwaukee, Philly, Boston, than they are in that next tier of New York, Indiana, uh, whoever else you want to throw in that group there. So I like this move. As for Charlotte, you have to imagine Gordon Hayward, who's out right now with the uh, calf injury. Buyout probably coming there uh, before the trade deadline or right after. Uh, He is not eligible to join the Heat or any team above even the first apron. So get that question a lot. Could he end up with the Celtics? No. 
Anyone who makes over $12.4 million and gets bought out cannot join a new team. Seems like Lowry is going to stick with Charlotte until they can find a new deal for him. Not sure what kind of market he'll get at $29 million, so I think that's buyout territory for them, too, down the line. They have to keep their roster filled, but uh, I'm sure they'll do a lot of moving and shaking and players coming in and out before then. Obviously, Miles Bridges is probably in his last year with the team. Does anyone want to move him given the baggage and uh, needing to sign him to a long-term deal? That one's going to be tough, too, for Charlotte now, who's obviously uh, moving toward a rebuild here. There was an urgency to move Roger. They actually bring back a little bit more money uh, in uh, Kyle Lowry coming back. But as Woj reported here, they have the opportunity to take money from teams now if they start shedding salary themselves. So that's going to happen here. Hornets kickoff trade season alongside the Heat, adding uh, Terry Roger, And he could make his debut or at least his second game with the Heat against the Celtics on Thursday, his former team. And as I, I noted on Twitter, another in a long line of uh, his former Celtics to play for the Heat now, Olenek, Crowder, Allen, Max Struess uh, recently. So it's going to be interesting to see him in that uniform, how he fits, defense, offense. I think both potentially good fits here for Roger. It might take a little bit of an adjustment, but he's joining a team that's played well so far, top 10 defense, been in that mix in the East despite their losses over the offseason. I think this more than replaces the Gabe Vincent loss, which was the most important for this team. Uh, the Heat still have to scare you if you're a Celtics fan here, just given how recent seasons have gone. And uh, nice test on Thursday. Hopefully both these teams fully loaded. Uh, Bobby Manning, this has been a news edition of the Garn Report. And we'll talk to you as news continues to break ahead of the trade deadline in just a couple weeks. Go to HelloFresh.com slash free and use the code free for free breakfast for life. That's one breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at hellofresh.com slash clns free with code clns free